same thing. But I, I'm, I'm a believer in Sunday school. Amen. I believe it gives you a well-rounded understanding of the Bible. And if you will go to Sunday school and read the daily readings, you will have comprehensively covered the Bible in the, in the span of six years. Amen. Not just Amen. reading, but they will, they will touch on all of the Bible uh, and the Bible themes over a six-year period. Amen. We thank God uh, for that. Let us have a word of prayer. God, we thank you. Lord, we praise your name. Lord, we magnify you. Oh, Lord, you're worthy to be praised. Lord, you told us, oh God, to enter into your gates with thanksgiving and into your courts with praise. You told us to be thankful unto him and to bless your name. Well, why? Because the Lord is good. His mercy is everlasting. And it's truth and good for all generations. Lord, we pray, God, that help us to preach, Lord, that we're unworthy vessels. But, Lord, we pray, we thank you for the grace of God and the Spirit of God that makes us worthy. Lord, we pray to open their ears that they may hear what you have for them to hear. And, Lord, we give your name to praise. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. In Psalms 84, 10 through 12, there is a passage of scripture that we would like to lift today as our scriptures. All right. 84, 10, 11, and 12, I think many times uh, we do 84 and 10 on Ursus and the day, mm -hmm. but we forget 11 and 12. Psalms right. 84 and 10, verses 10 through 12, 84, 10 through 12, 84th chapter, uh, ver I mean, 84th Psalms, verses 10 through 12. Amen. The grass with the flower Amen. faded, but the word of our God shall stand forever. And I believe uh, what Isaiah said, so shall my word be go forth out of my mouth, it will go out where I send it, it will accomplish what I purpose and not return unto me void. Those things have nothing to do with you and all to do with the word of God. Amen. Amen. Isaiah 84 and 10, for a day in your courts 
is better than a thousand. I would rather be a doorkeeper in the house of my God than to dwell in the tents of the wicked. Yeah, yeah. For the Lord God is a sun and a shield. The Lord will give grace and glory. Yes, sir. No good thing will he withhold from them who walk uprightly. Yes, sir. O Lord of hosts, uh -huh. blessed is the man blessed. that trusts yes, in you. Yes, sir. Turn to your neighbor and say, neighbor. Yes, sir. Pastor Joseph needs your prayer. Pastor Joseph needs your prayer. And your amen. And your amen. Today's sermon topic is, Today's sermon topic is a, comparison a comparison of doors. A comparison of doors. All right. The word doors figure heavily in the Bible. The word door appears in the Bible in one form or another 263 times. While the door in the Bible is used to speak of a literal door, there are many places where the door is symbolic more than literal. In 1 Corinthians 16, 18 through 9, in this passage, they talk about an open door, which is an opportunity. Some doors are open, and they are an opportunity. In John 10 and 9, Jesus himself said he's the door, and that, that, that means salvation. And in Revelation 4 and 1, uh, speaks of the door being opened to heaven. That means that the rapture will come when the church will be taken out of this world before uh, the great tribulation. Amen. And then Revelation 3 and 20 pictures Jesus standing at the door and knocking. That means the conviction that the saints have when God has troubled their heart. Matthew 7, 7 through 8 speaks of answered prayers as the opening of a door means a blessing. Amen. Anybody want a blessing? Yeah. Amen. Want the Lord to open up the, the door and the windows of heaven? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Pour you out a blessing yes, that you won't have room to receive. Proverbs 26 and 14 uses the image of a door turning slowly upon it, hinges to picture laziness or slothfulness. You know that door that go real slow and that makes that streaky sound because nobody put WD-40 on it? Oh, yeah, I'll leave that open. In Genesis 18, 1 and 2, he speaks of the Lord meeting with Abraham in the door of his tent, which means he has fellowship with God. This door means Fellowship in Exodus 20 and 7, it speaks of the blood of the lamb being applied to the doorpost and the lintel. And that door means redemption when the Lord, when the death angel passed over. Leviticus talks about the sacrifice of animals being killed at the door of the tabernacle. And that means you have access to the house of the Lord. Psalms 141 and 13 speaks of the lips of the door to the mouth. It means silence and self-control. Lord have mercy. In the words of the immortal Flip Wilson, watch your mouth. <laughs> yes, sir. Psalm Matthew 25 and 10 speaks of a closed door, which means rejection and judgment. And guess what? God's going to reject some people. But today, today we are talking about uh, this psalmist who said he'd rather be a doorkeeper yes, sir. in the house of the Lord than to dwell in the tents of the wicked. In this comparison of doors, we look at the comparison of place in that when we look at uh, this place, there's a comparison between the tents of the wicked and the house of the Lord. Y'all not practicing with me. One is a tent, which is a temporary structure at bless. It was never designed for permanent residence. A tent is just bought for a season and a time, but a house can last through generations and generations. Let me tell you something about this house. The house of the Lord is still alive and well. The pandemic can't kill it. Social justice and white conservatism can't kill it. Different parties can't kill it. 
What, what will keep the house of the Lord is except the Lord build the house. You know what I'm telling me? God has built this house. And what is it built on? It is built on the rock of Jesus Christ. Yes, 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 sir. Yes. Amen. And I'm going to tell you whose church it is. It is God's church. Because Jesus said, upon this rock I'll build my church. Not, not yours. Not, not, not yours. Not yours. Your particular situation, but this house, the, the house is permanent, where as a tent is temporary. And then look at the comparison here is that with the Lord and with the wicked. Now, I don't know what not you that's reason to shout right there because you knew some people were in the world and they know what the wicked do versus what the Righteous do. Amen. Look at a look at a funeral. They're gonna come over and stay out there. They're gonna wait for the they're gonna wait for the alcohol to come out. They're gonna act a fool. They, they're gonna start fighting. Now nah, I love them the most. No, you love them the most. The widow can't get no sleep. But when the righteous, everybody brings some food. They sit for a little while. To make sure that the widow or the deceased, whoever is there, they, they, they make sure that that person has some. I'm sorry, y'all. This, this this computer doing strange things. I'm going to cut him off. Amen. I apologize. We're going to cut him off. He needs to be put to sleep. Amen. The door of the bedroom. Amen. He needs to go to sleep. Amen. I never, I never saw him act like that, but the devil is busy. Yes, he is. In the words of Mr. Yes, Brown, the devil is alive. alive. Yes, sir. With the Lord means that is. The Bible says in God's presence there is fullness of joy, and at his right hands there are pleasures forevermore. But in the wicked, the wicked will cease from troubling. And real soon, the wicked will be cast into the lake of fire, and the wicked will cease from Troubling. And with the Lord is different because what does the psalmist say? All right, all right. For the Lord is a sun and a shield, yes, yes. and I will give you grace and glory. And he says, No good thing will I withhold from them that walk upright. Oh yes, Lord, have mercy. Yes, sir. I'd rather be in the place where God is protecting me, where God is shielding me, where God is giving me grace, where God is speaking up in my favor. I'd rather be a place where God is giving me what I need because I need him to help me yeah. along the way. The comparison is one time you're with the Lord who wants, who has plans for you, plans for good and not for evil and, and to give you a future and a hope. And the other one, he said, I come to kill, rob, and destroy. He's seeking whom be made of all. Now, I'm not too smart, but I'd rather be at the door of the Lord than the tent of the way. The comparison of the tent is a place to play where as the Lord's place is a place of worship, amen. Somebody ought to, start, ought to understand, I don't come here again to see my friends. I, God bless you, I, I haven't seen you since a couple of weeks, but that's not why I came here. I came here to worship God. I came here to magnify his holy name. One is a person play. My pastor always would say, well, a clubs are where people go to play their game. Just they do they. Oh, y'all not traveling with me. That's some folk that when they go in the club, they take off their ring. My Lord. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yes, they do. Yes, yes, they do. That's some folk who go in the club. They buying your drinks, but they have an ulterior motive. Y'all yeah, yeah, yeah. not traveling with me. At the club, you 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 can't leave your drink unattended and come back. You might well just go and pull that one out because, you know, you can't trust that everybody's going to do what needs to be done. You're not traveling with me. I'm, you know, I'm talking to these people over here that's been to the club. I'm not talking about these people over here who saved and sanctified and, and, and we would have that done. One is a place where people go uh, again for games and to tear people down, have a good time to turn it up, amen. But at the house of the Lord, I come here to worship. I come here to praise the Lord. I come here because I need a blessing. I come here because I need a breakthrough. I come here because I need a word of encouragement. I come here because I need a, a fresh rainbow word from God. I 
come here because great is the name of Jesus. Oh, how precious is the name of Jesus. I give him glory. I give him honor. At this place, this is a holy place. But not only is there a comparison of place, there is a comparison of person. One is the children of Satan and the other are the children of God. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Let me tell you something. Everybody's not God's child. Everybody's not God's child. All of us are children of someone. But the Bible tells me that the God of perdition or the God of this world has blinded the eyes of them that they may not see the light of God. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And there are many people, if you're not, again, in the house of the Lord or you're not worshiping God, you are automatically in the tents of the wicked. There is saved and there is unsaved. There's believers and non-believers. And one of the things I want to let you know is that you can't be uh, on both sides. God has no stepchildren. Amen. You've got to be born again. And again, some people are children of Satan. And let me put this in your mailbox, church. Stop expecting Satan's children to act like you do because you've been saved and you're on a different trajectory and you're in a different house. You're in a house and they're in a tent. And they're looking for things out of the Lord today. But I, I hope and not in the day. Our hopes in thee are in things eternal. After a while, yes, have mercy. We will leave this wicked world. The persons are between the lawgiver and the law keeper and the lawless. Sinners will do anything because, again, they don't care. There's no conscience. There's no voice in their heart whispering to them the scriptures. There's no scripture coming through their, uh, their, their issues. There's no Holy Spirit that grieves them, that troubles them in the middle of the night. Maybe y'all don't have no Holy Spirit, but then once in a while he tell you, you know you're wrong. All right. All right. You know you didn't have any business looking at that, what you looked at. You know, you know you didn't, you shouldn't have cussed. And I know y'all over here don't say no bad word, but two, three people over here, I know if you push it right, you might hear one of the words. And, but, 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 but again, let God, the comparison is between the Lord who cares and the lawlessness of man. I, I, just, uh, just, just, just yesterday, they came to rob someone at the grill. They came to rob someone at the grill. Indiscriminate, they, they got the merchandise that they came for. But they shot somebody yes, yes, on the way out. Lord yes, help us. Yes, and, and, and kill someone and, and injured someone else. Not only, uh, again, to kill, rob, and destroy the law and lawlessness of the world. We've got to be careful that people don't say, Lord, Lord, but they don't know it. It's not what you say. It's the life that you live. And then, the difference between a keeper of the door and the doorkeeper. See at the club, the fella at the door is there to either keep out undesirables and collect the money at the door. Maybe I'm just talking to the wrong people. Now. Yeah, and, and when you go to the theater, there, there's a lady that is looking at your ticket to see if you have the you have paid the proper admission to get in the show. Because you know some of y'all and me back in the day used to sneak in. The, that's why they got them rules, because of people like you and people like I used to be. Amen. But in the house of the Lord, our doorkeeper stands to welcome you in. Our, door, our doorkeeper stands to not keep you out. We, we, we make you wait while we're praying. Or we make you wait in a certain area of, of consecration that will get people's mind off what they need to be on. Like in the invitation, you ought to be still because somebody might make a decision of faith. And so they don't need to look at you doing this. So do it before or after the sermon. But our doorkeeper doesn't charge you a cover. Doesn't ask you for a ticket. Yeah, yeah. They tell you you're not pretty enough, you're not tall enough, you're not dressed right. Uh, whosoever will, let them 
come. Amen. Amen. And so at this doorkeeper, we invite you, we offer Christ to you today. Oh, there's room. At the cross of you, though millions have come, there still room for one. There's room at the cross for you. We want to help you get a seat. We want to. We want to tell somebody. Yes, so it's not over. Some we've got some people here, and guess what? The Bible says the heaven rejoice more over one person that comes to salvation or comes to repentance than the ninety nine. That need no repentance. Matter of fact, if you get here and you get saved, heaven's gonna throw a party in your honor. Amen. Ain't you gonna say, Why is The Lamb of God yes, is sir. Yes, sir. worthy. Yes, but not only is there a comparison of place and a comparison of persons, but there is a comparison of preciousness. The house of the Lord is a place of hearing. It is a place of repenting. All right. uh -huh. Sometimes you have to come and be shook up by the preacher. Right. Come on, come on. Sometimes he has to walk on your street. Right. Step on your toes. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Walk in your house. Yes. Yes. It's a place of believing yes. and a place of adoration. Place of community, a place of revival, a place of communication. I come not only that uh, God can speak to me through the sermon and through the music and through the encouragement, but I can also get in tune with God. I can raise my hands. I can tell God something about uh, what's going on with me. Yeah, I tell him all about my troubles. I mean, I, I, I bear down before him. The preciousness, the belly said, it's a day. Versus a thousand years. Yes, sir. Y'all not traveling me. Oh, yeah. A day versus a thousand years. And guess what? It's precious to live a day. But but think about it. That living in, in, in living in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Not in, not broke down. Not with arthritis. Not with a bad hip or a bad back. Not with emphysema. Not with gout. Not with diabetes or high blood pressure, but that all of these things will be taken away in the house of the Lord. And forever we go, we're on our way to another house, a mansion, a city not made Amen. with him. A thousand years, a house, a place. What did he say? No good thing will he withhold from them that walk uprightly. The pleasures of the Lord, not money, but the pleasures of the Lord. There's some things money came by. Sometimes you just think about the goodness of God. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And all he's done for you. And you think about where you would have been had it not been for the Lord. And, and you thank God because some people didn't make it to where they are. Amen. Sister Joseph said I'm off milk now because I can collect a check if I want to. But she said I'm no longer on milk. But the thing about again, so many people that didn't make it where you are. The preciousness, the comparison of the precious clubs, they come and go. There used to be some clubs in your day. There used to be some clubs back in your day. Brother Austin, those clubs, most of them are gone. The ones I used to stick, stick my head in for a little while, and they're, they're gone. The ones you used to go to, most of the ones you go, I don't see, I don't see any young folk in here today, but if you know the, the new clubs, Y'all not traveling. Oh, I forgot there's somebody in the back. Amen. Yeah, yeah. But you just keep living. They're going to close that club too. But this club I'm in, this, this, this Holy Ghost party, this, this hallelujah time, and they, 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 they're not going to close it. It's for the young, it's for the old. Grandma can come. Her grandchildren can come. Whosoever will, let them come. Amen. This party, let's get this party started. Let's pray the Lord. Let's magnify the Lord with me. Hotels come and go. Motels come and go. I'm not going to deal with the difference between a hotel and a motel. I'm going to leave that long. I'm going to leave that right there. But they come and they go. But this house is still here. 
This house is still here. This house here has been here for 50 seven years but there's some that are older than this there, there's some that are older than this and i want to tell you that the preciousness of this house is that when i come i not only meet my brothers and sisters in christ but when i come i meet the presence of the lord i come to fellowship with one another i come where all of these spirits can get together and worship the same god it is a good place to be Depression, some of y'all. Uh -huh. Let me tell you, sports teams, they come and go. Come and go. It's been a while since the Cowboys Look won the Super Bowl. But, but, but they won some, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Amen. Yeah. One week we mad at the Texans, and the next week, y'all not traveling anymore. My team is the Minnesota Vikings, and they've been there four times and lost every time. I'm just saying, but the teams come and go, but it doesn't matter. But this team I'm on. This team of believers, this team of saints, this team of people that I'm with. We have angels on our team. Y'all not talking with me. We've got preachers on our team. That's all right. You know what I'm talking about. We've got deacons on our team. Yes, we don't. We have musicians on our team. You've got people in business. You've got people in industry. You've got people at Yale on our team. You've got people in jail on our team. But guess what? With the day we're giving emphasis to our workers at the door because they're on our team. They're on their feet when you're sleeping. They're, uh, they're looking at you. They're being concerned when you get too happy. When you put your little finger up, they're making sure sometimes that you are right they're there to serve us and so we give them emphasis as team members but guess what just because they're team members don't mean that that, that they forget the yes, team members. Sir. Yes, sir. That's right. but the church yes sir but the church is here to stay yes, sir. the church oh, yes. is miserable oh, yes. Oh, yes. it is pleasurable yes. Oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. it is Profitable. It is preparing us for our future in heaven. This church, every church, is there to help us get close to God. I said there's a comparison of place, there's a comparison of person, and there's a comparison of preciousness. But as we close today, yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'm thinking about sometimes when you think about what the world is doing. All right. All right. As the psalmist says that they have more than what they can wish for. Yeah. All right. All right. They scoff and speak wickedly concerning oppression. Well. They speak loftily. They set their mouth against heaven and their tongues walk through the earth. And then he begins to say that I almost slipped until I came to the house of the Lord. Uh, maybe I'm just going to talk about it. I'm going to testify, not testify. You ever did something that you, you know was wrong? And, and you might have you might have reveled in it through the week. You, you might have got past Wednesday Bible study. Got past choir rehearsal. But but it started bothering you because Saturday, you know that tomorrow I got to walk in the Lord's house. Lord have mercy. With the Lord's people. With, 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 with come into his presence with thanksgiving and to his. I got to come in here and I'm still not right with God. That ought to make you sometime get, get right because you know you've got to come and then praise and worship him. I almost slipped, I almost backslid, but you know why I didn't backslid, slide? Because of what the hundred number of songs say. What you say? Make. It said make a joyful noise. Oh, ye lands. It says serve the Lord with gladness. Say come before his presence with singing. Amen. You ought to be prayed up when you get to the door. Yeah. So nothing the earth shall do or the greeter does ought to make you mad. Yeah. Then it say, know ye that the Lord, he is God. Yeah. Yeah. Twas he that has made us. 
and not we ourselves. Then it, then it gives you instruction how to come in the house. He said, enter into his gates with thanksgiving. Y'all not trembling with me. You ought to enter into the gates thanking God. You ought to enter into the gates thank God. Another day's journey and I'm so glad about it. You ought to enter into him saying I could have been dead sleeping in my grave. You ought to enter into him already ready to, to praise the Lord. You, know, you ought not have to get here and get the music department to, to wind you up. You don't need, you ought, might, ought not need the deacons to wind you up. You ought not need a praise and a worship song to wind you up. But you ought to enter into his gates with thanksgiving. Is there anybody here that has something to be thankful for. Is there anybody here that has something to be thankful for? I'm thankful of what the Lord has done. And into his cause we pray. You are coming here praising the Lord. You don't know like I know what the Lord has done for me. I'm going to praise him. I'm going to praise him. You don't have to praise him. I praise him all by myself. I don't know about what you came to do, but I came to praise the Lord. Even to engage with thanksgiving. And when, and when the cause we praise, we can tell you to be thankful unto him. It's one thing to be thankful for what someone's done. It's another thing to be thankful for what who someone is. Thank him because he's your savior. You ought to thank him because he's your God. You ought to thank him for he died on the cross. You ought to thank him for he shed his precious blood. You ought to thank him for he hung 22 feet. You ought to thank him for they put him in a barrel too. You ought to thank him for he rose from the third day. You ought to thank him.
Thank you for that great message, Pastor Michael yes, Joseph. Sir. Yes, sir. Pastor of the Marvelous Light Church. We did honor today for our nurses and uh, Ursus and Ursus Annual Day. Amen. Our president, amen, Sister Daniels, and Vice President Sister Agerson, and Sister Johnson's our nurses aide. Amen. I think Sister Van was with her. We want to thank them. We know that we're going through a pandemic, so we can't do what we really would like to do. To so honor them and thank them, they still, amen, are praying. We're praying for them as they pray for the church. Amen. There are lots that just cannot do what they would like to do. But we thank God for the urge that is here today. Amen. 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 And offering her services. And amen. amen. Mm. Standing like a good soldier. Yes, I was getting complimented earlier today on how I am enduring and and laboring and trying to be here for the family of God and for God. But if you have a commitment to God, and it don't have no matter about no time. Yes, sir. And you got a commitment to God. Yes, sir. You're gonna do what God has called you to do. Amen. Amen. And today is especially their annual day. I want to find us men to come in here and you know what we've asked for. What was the sister come up for this annual day? Twenty dollars. Per person, I think Sister Como and I gave forty dollars. <laughs> we want to make sure, Amen, that everybody do their part. Pastor Joseph was preaching about a comparison of doors. There are many doors that will close in your face. There are many doors that will open because of God. And I, in my life, have seen many doors open because of what God, Amen, can do and will do in my life. I've seen some doors open for to burden you, but this door is open to bless you. It's more blessed to give than it is to receive. And I found that to be a fact. Amen. So I share for those who desire to give, we got Venmo, amen, at fiestachurch.com dash, amen, Venmo. So please give through that way and not, amen, you can get in touch with one of the members that you know or Deacons, amen. Share with them, amen. We have um, a few people of our church. And I received uh, one that has been tested, tested positive for uh, COVID, and I'm not gonna really announce her name. Amen. And uh, there are a few more of our church that's in house and they are at home, amen. and they respect others. They've been tested, even the governor been tested positive for COVID. And even uh, Jesse Jackson and his lovely wife, amen, have been tested for COVID. So we're praying for all of those. Amen, amen. Now they, and they took their shots, most of them I'm talking about, taking their shots, but still doesn't stop you from getting COVID. You know, that you become a positive. But by taking the shot, it helps you to be strong to go through this setting. Most of them that took the shot, don't end up in the emergency room <clears throat> at the hospital, amen? So I urge you to continue to take your shots. It's giving time, man. The Lord says, the more blessed to give than you to receive. The more you give, the more he gives to you. But somebody said, you can't beat God's giving. I got a handful of change in my deep here. Go save, save me on this one. Put all that in his hand. He's going to put it in this little body. Bob on the bottle. Excuse me for our work. Scholarship. Scholarship. Amen. We try to support and help our children. Our children have done thousands of dollars in support for our children. Amen. And young people that are going to school that are trying to make it. And we can't probably pay the whole scholarship, but we pay something to help, even if it's toward books. And I'm sure some of my young men, Amen. they can read, they can come on, some of the young ones that are going to college and come back. Those few dollars help. Amen. Go down there and visit him, and the brothers will send him a few dollars, and he have a big smile on his face. Amen. To me, it ain't, it ain't, to us, it ain't much, but he may have a big smile on his face. Amen. And he says, "Thank you, Pastor." Tell the rest of them, "Thank you." And it's good to, Amen, that you love others, Amen. That comes back to you, and more than money can give, Amen. So I would pray that you learn to give. Did you want to share something? I was thinking about what Pastor just said. I was traveling with Pastor. Pastor had a little boy take a picture of him. And uh, Pastor gave him a $10 bill. And he, he was so, uh, he was seeing his eyes. He probably, 
Remember that? Yeah. 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 Y
What you say? <laughs> sure will, baby. That's yes, right. Yes. That's right. Yes. Yeah. And you're, you're, you're a great encouragement. You, and even yeah. when you're not here, people are always thinking of you. Yes. You know, right. Sister Van, yeah. always. Amen. Amen. We love her. We miss her. I miss her she sitting back there. And I see Sister Joseph. Yes. Amen. Oh. Sister Spratt's mother, Sister yeah. Jordan. Sister Rose is out there. Amen. Good to see Sister Colvin here. Yeah. She's a great Amen. example of an elder that never stops pushing. And uh, people like that, and most of the people yes, that are the fiesta, yes, uh, are encouraging to me. Uh, ain't no way I can stop. Hey, Amen. Like I shared with them, pay or no pay, I come here. Yes, hey, man, when I, yes, when I come here, he'd be yes, amazed sir. with what I was making. Hey, yes, man. And even though things got bad, I had to cut my salary a couple of times. Know, hey, not, not about that, but what God called me to do. Yes, sir. Called me to do yes, the work. Of, uh, and he called me to church. Save and help save salvation of those who don't know the Lord. And since I've been here, I've seen many lovely people be saved. Amen. Many lovely people get married. Yeah. Many lovely people and are shared by their families to funerals. And that was a preacher that was sharing that there's the value of a, a true pastor. Amen. Cannot be amen, evaluated. Amen. It's, it's, it's just so important. My, my pastor was so important to me. Amen. That I would do anything. I could for him while he did. And his son would always tell me, we went way to Colorado to get him. He was in trouble one time. Through a convention, we flew down there, made sure everything was all right, and come back. And took it, because, amen, if I find out they're in trouble, they have a problem. Amen, they got my help. That's any member of the church. Amen. Amen. Some of you know I've been to Florida, been to Georgia, been everywhere. Amen. amen. Because I love you. It ain't about money. It's about loving you and about loving Jesus. I love the Lord. Do you love the Lord? Yes, sir. He heard my cry. Yes, he did. He pitted every groan. Thank you for your service. All of you that are here. Uh, <clears throat> Pastor Joseph, we shared an invocation, an in, 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 invitation. And many are invited, but many don't come. My Lord, my Lord. There are some Stubbornness, even in the spiritual realm, to people who are going to obey God and do the right things. Uh, I would pray that, amen, those who are not saved would, amen, accept the Lord as they're saved. Pastor Joseph shared something with me this morning. I don't know if he's going to still do it or not, or whether he do it or not, it doesn't matter. But he, he was thankful for a friend that he knew that was definitely an atheist. Didn't, he didn't care about God or man, nobody. I mean, he just very selfish. But today he's being baptized as a man. Yeah. 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 That's a testimony of what God can do. So I want to share with you, never give up. Mm -hmm. Even though things seem to be going to, right now things look bad. Another one of these things, uh, come, what's called a uh, condominium, uh, what's called bar 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 that come out is bad. It looks worse than the first one. Yes. But, God. but God, if he took care of us on the first, yes, sir. he'll take care of us on yes, this. Yes. But all we got to do is be obedient, do amen, it. do what the, the actors do, amen. Yes. Take your shots. Yes. If you need another one, yes. take it. I, I, yes. I'm not against the third shot. Yes, sir. I done took two shots. Yes, Dr. Voucher said he get, he said, yeah, you two shots, you might be at 60, 70%, uh, uh, still good, maybe. But then your body may fuck All right. I'll take a third whatever I have. Yes, sir. Yes. Amen. I'm not going to rush down there, dude, but, but I'll take it if it <laughs> push comes in, I'll take it. Yes, sir. Amen. And I will what? Cover my mouth. And I will obey the Lord. Amen. 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 Thank you for all that you've done. There's nothing more that us pray. Father God, we thank you for all that you have done, for all that you will do. Thank you for the service of faith that believe and trust in you. And you never let us down. We want to say thank you, Lord, for the health and strength that we have. Thank you for the power that you have over this variant. And Lord, we know that soon this too shall pass. And Lord, we know that we thank you, praying for the family that are standing together and sticking by one another. Praying for every church door that's opening your name, every pastor, every leader in the church, and all the families that Lord are sticking together. 
Bless them, Lord, and keep them. And Lord, we pray for my family of Baltimore, Maryland, the LeBay family. My cousin got shot just the other night, the other night, and he lost his leg. Pray, Lord, that you would touch that family. Let it be known that we love them and that we're praying for them. Pray for my young cousin that he don't give up. He hold on to God's unchanging hand. Praying for all the families that are going through so much tragedies, killings, and shootings, and cutting, murder, and accidents, and wrecks, people driving under the influence. Lord, we pray for your influence to overpower all these influences. And we know that God, soon and very soon, you will bring it all to peace again as you've done in the past. But Lord, while we're standing here, we give you the glory. We give you the praise in the mighty name of Jesus. And the church said, Amen.